in this tutorial we jump over to Adobe Illustrator and we create a graphic title. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to this After Effects tutorial. Okay, just kidding. It's not an After Effects tutorial, but in my last After Effects tutorial, we created this entire title design inside of After Effects. So I wanted to jump over into Illustrator as a bonus and create the same exact title in here. And we'll talk about how we can use the software and create something as cool as this. So what we're going to do is go up to File, New, and it's going to create us a new document. And it doesn't really matter kind of like what settings, width, and height you use, but I prefer 1920 by 1080 under the pixels category. It, this will depend on your preference and kind of what you're doing. Then you might also want to think about color mode, RGB, or CMYK, depending on what you're doing. If you're doing uh, web stuff, go ahead and do RGB. If you're doing print, set it to CMYK, uh, but click OK. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the rectangle tool right over here to the side, and we're going to draw out a large box to cover up our entire document. So then let's go and grab the gradient tool over here at the side or just hit G on your keyboard. And let's go over here to our gradient over here and just click on these, the sort of color palette here. And we'll get this nice gradient in here. And what we need to do is we're gonna set the angle of this to about negative 90 degrees. So we have this up and down and we're gonna set the type to radial. So now we just need to go over, come over here and reposition this. So we can grab like this first point over here and just kind of drag this up at the top. And our top gradient will be kind of so our white gradient will be here at the top and we have this nice gray outline. So if we want to change the color of this gradient, we can double click the color stop over here and we have our swatches and we also have uh, a little bit of control over the brightness here. So of course we can come in here and select a swatch and we'll have a lot more control over here and you can always paste it in a hex code, but let's say you don't want to do it this way. Let's go ahead and close off this real fast. Make sure nothing is selected and go to your fill over here on the left side here and kind of go in here and find the color that you want. So you have all this range of colors and click OK once you have that selected. And then make sure to turn off the stroke and then go over to Window Swatches and go ahead and click on this new swatch button over here and click that and you'll get a new swatch, you know, sort of window over here and just click OK. We can, you can always, of course, name it, but just click OK. And that new swatch will be right over here. And then, of course, we go back over back to our fill window over here you know, and then we'll select a sort of a lighter color and click OK. And then we'll go back over here and add a new swatch once more and click OK. So now, so now we'll have two new swatches. So let's go back to our background, go to the gradient and double click the first gradient stop here and select one of the swatches that you created. And then go to the second stop over here and create, select the second swatch that you did. So now we have this gradient. If there's any banding, it's because of the compression from my software and YouTube. And of course there's a little stroke on this, so go ahead and turn that off. So let's go ahead and add some text. Go to the type tool, just go here and click and you can start typing out your text. I'm gonna just type in graphic titles. And then if by default we got Myriad Pro and it's black. So we'll come over here and we'll change the font or sorry, the typeface to maybe something a little bit more script. I'll use street script. And we'll come over here, make this a white uh, text here. And we can come over here and make this bigger just by dragging out the sides here. And now we have this. Then make sure the title is selected and we go here to the top and align these in with the middle horizontal and vertical align centers. And let's go ahead and open up our layers here on the side. If you don't see layers or any of the windows that I mentioned, always just go to window and click on layers or whatever. And we can open up this layer and we can just lock our background so we don't accidentally select it. So now I can't actually select the background, which is great. So we can zoom out here. And now we have our titles and that's all looking all good. So now we'll come over here, grab the rectangle tool again, and we'll just draw out a nice rectangle box like this. And then we come here to the top and change the color of this. I'll use like green or something. It doesn't really matter to me. And then we can put this layer right underneath our graphic titles. And there's this. And we select both these layers and we go to the line tab and center these both up. So let's go and grab the rectangle box again and just draw out a rectangle, just about, about the size of our rectangle like this. And then we'll come over here, go to the direct selection tool and we'll select both of these vertices over here for our new box and kind of uh, make sure that you are, we'll bring them down by a touch. So now we'll kind of have like this inward indent and then we go over here to our fill color and darken this up by a touch. So we're kind of creating that nice shading there. And then once again, we can grab the rectangle tool and kind of match this up over here and draw out a long rectangle like this. And we, if we go to the uh, eyedropper tool, which is right over here by hitting I on our keyboard, we can select this green right here and that will automatically go back to its original color. And then we go back to the direct selection tool and we'll select these two points over here and we'll just kind of fold this inward like this. So now we're kind of creating this nice distortion 
and it kind of looks three-dimensional and everything looks cool. So then what we're gonna do is just select both of these layers and shift click the rectangle here to deselect the main rectangle. And what we wanna do is go, is go up to object, group, and then we wanna copy it and go up to edit, paste in place. So now we'll have this in this nice spot. We'll bring it all the way across to the other side like this. And then we'll go up to object, transform, reflect, and you can enable preview and we'll flip it vertically, click okay. We might need to just to readjust the position of this uh, just by a touch, maybe put that in there like that. And of course this isn't centered correctly. So let's select our text here, go up to object, expand, and object and fill are selected. So just click okay. And then we go back up to the align tab over here and try to center this up. And now that's perfectly centered. So now that we have our title banner graphic in here, we can come over here and just you know turn these off for a second so we can kind of see our background. And now we can talk about creating some of the shapes in the background. So let's grab the ellipse tool over here and we'll just draw out a perfect circle by holding down shift. And that looks nice. And we come over here and change the color of the fill over here to whatever color you want. And that'd be okay. And I'll use a light blue. And then what we're gonna do is copy this, go up to edit, paste in place. We'll make this one a little bit bigger. Hold down uh, alt and shift on your keyboard and we'll turn off the fill here at the top and go to the stroke and we'll turn this on to about three points. And we'll go into our actual stroke property here and we'll paste in the same exact color as our main circle. And now we have this and that looks fine. And then once again, let's grab the rectangle tool and hold down shift to draw out a perfect square. And we'll turn off the stroke for now and we'll turn on the fill. And we come down here to our fill color and paste in another blue here. And once again, we'll copy it, paste it in place, make it a little bit bigger, hold down Alt on your keyboard to line this perfectly in the center like this. And we'll come here, turn off the fill, and we'll turn on the stroke. And we'll come here to the stroke color. And we'll select that hex. And we'll set this to three points. So now we have two shapes in here. The circle's a little bit smaller than the square, which I think I like that. And select all your layers here and go and grab the uh, vertical line. And this way they'll be perfectly aligned within each other and that's perfect. And so now what we wanna do is we wanna start you know, expanding this all the way across. So we'll come here, we'll copy these, we'll paste them in place. And we'll bring this over here and we kinda wanna find a nice sweet spot like this. That should be fine. And we'll copy these and paste them in place and we should be able to find a nice intersection like that. So now that's looking pretty good. We come over here and go up to object group and center this back up. So now we have this. And actually what I wanna do is put one more ellipse on this side. So we'll hold down command or uh, control on a PC and we'll just select this circle. We'll copy it and paste it in place and we'll bring it all the way back over across and we'll move this over by a touch. And if we need to, we can of course select everything and make them just a little bit smaller so we can fit them in perfectly. So everything's looking good. So let's go ahead and select everything. We'll copy it, paste it in place, and we'll bring it down just by a touch, maybe like that. Once again, we'll copy, paste in place, and we'll bring these down and boom. And we'll, we'll do everything one more time and we'll paste it one more time and go over here. Perfect. And then of course we have these extras down here. So go ahead and delete those and we select everything and we can kind of Go to object group once more and center these completely up and they'll be completely in the centered. And we come back over here, back to our layers, turn on our titles and kind of see what we have. Let's go ahead and put layer two underneath layer one here. And let's go ahead and move our background underneath the layer two group. And what we can do since we have some objects in here, so let's go ahead and lock our title layer one and our background. And then we can hold down command on a Mac or control on a PC and select all the inner shapes here and delete them and delete again. And now we kind of have this nice title in the middle. Of course, I want to add one more shape in here. So let's select the shape background here. Let's copy it, paste it in place. And let's just make this a little bit bigger and just hold down Alt and kind of make this a little bit bigger like this. And let's turn off the fill and let's turn on the stroke. And let's do like four points or something like that. So now that kind of stands out just a little bit more. 
So here's our final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials just like this. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.